Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody made an interesting comment. I got an email and they said, hey, Steph, isn't web design over for small business? Aren't small businesses just using social media? But why would they want to put up a website when they can just have a, a page on Facebook or an, Instagram's, an Instagram channel or something? Isn't web design for small business owners? Why would small business need a website anyway? That's kind of old school. No, Steph, isn't that the case? Well, it's interesting how people have perspectives when they don't just do a very simple research and they can see that their perspectives are completely wrong. So if you just do a simple Google search, you'll see the answer. So I searched on Google, how many small business websites in the USA? And uh, so here are a couple of results I got. 73% of small businesses have their own website. 81% of shoppers choose to research a business online before making a purchase with 55% searching for online reviews and 47% searching for the business website. The average cost of a website for a small business is anywhere between $1,000 and $10,000. This is an article in March 2023. So this is not old school information here. So that's very interesting. Those of you out there saying, well, why would a small business need a website? Well, 73% of small businesses would disagree with you. I think part of the reason they would disagree with you is because 47% of shoppers will search for a small business website. Having a website gives you a certain level of credibility. If you don't have a website, you could be to some fly-by-night operation, right? Here's another interesting factoid I pulled up off, off of Google. A previous study found that 71% of small businesses had a website in 2021 compared to just 50% in 2018. So as far as I know, social media sites like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and many others were around way before 2018. Despite that, many, many more small businesses decided to build their own website. Again, one of the reasons is to establish credibility. Another reason is because when you have a channel on a social media site, you don't own that channel. If you put all your efforts into having just social media channels, you're basically putting the fate of your business in the hands of a third party. Whereas if you build up your own site and you build up your own web property and you use social media to promote it, you have an extra level of autonomy. It's kind of silly and risky for a small business, for any business, to solely be dependent on one particular uh, some, somebody else's site, somebody else's uh, property. You never know what will happen. So, for example, in the political sphere, you had uh, a lot of companies out there where their business was based on politically charged subjects, and they had their money-making aspect of their business on some third-party platform. I'm not going to get into specifics because I want to stir up the pot, but I'm sure you guys are well, well, well aware of it. And whether or not you agree with the move to shut down those businesses or not is irrelevant to the, to the discussion. The point is, when these uh, individuals and these businesses had their uh, payment processing and had their presence on the web on a third-party provider, uh, and then that third-party provider decided that, well, we don't like your type, so we're going to shut you down. And that's what happened. They got shut down. So a lot of small business owners looked at this, regardless of their political point of view, and said, you know, that's a risk point. That's a risk. Maybe I shouldn't have that risk. So finally, one of the major reasons of having your own website is that you need to provide a certain level of functionality on your site that you can't do with a social media platform. Now, it's, a, you know, it's not everybody, but it is an issue. So for example, I have studioweb.com. I have the website for branding purposes. I can tell you right now that none of the schools would have partnered with us if we just had a Facebook page. It's almost certain. Now, don't get me wrong. You should probably have a presence on the Facebook and Instagram or Twitter. Depending on the type of business that you have, you would choose the right social media mix. But to have only that, again, lacks credibility. It puts you your business at risk potentially. It limits what you can do on your site right? Facebook would only allow you to do certain things. You can do a lot, but so having your own site gives you that ultimate flexibility, that ultimate independence, 
and credibility. So, and the data bears that out, as I just pointed out, you can go search on Google for yourself. More and more businesses are getting on to building their websites. I remember back in the day when social media started really building, Facebook in particular, people were talking about that. A lot of companies were putting all their eggs into the Facebook basket. And then at one, then at one time or another, Facebook put, put turned the valve, and then you had to pay to access the audience that you built. Web design development for freelance is here to stay for the foreseeable future. I teach it because I think it's the most uh, lucrative and offers the most opportunity. Otherwise, I would teach something else. It's not a big deal for me. History shows us that if you're totally dependent on a particular platform, you're putting yourself in a bad situation. Most recently, for example, on Twitter, now X, uh, this guy who had the, I think it was at music handle on Twitter, the X company now, just took it away from him. Ah, we're taking that now. Thank you very much. He had no, he had, he had no uh, recourse, right? Because Twitter owns their site and owns their platform. He had no recourse. Of course, if you own the uh, music.com domain, he would own it. They couldn't do that. I'm Uncle Steph. I teach people the ways of code and development, not just web development, not just freelancing, but so much more. Check me out at unclesteph.com. I do have a Facebook page, but the website's better.